Chris Page. Chris Terminal. How you doing, everybody? This is Indigenous Skateboard TV. We're streaming from Terminal Skate Shop, Washington Heights, 184th. Check it out. If you don't know, holla. Go to 157. Ask for the number. We here with Eugene Kang. About to ask him some questions. We're gonna start off from my man O. Hit him with the 411. Uh, yeah, man. I know you for a while and shit. So what's good, man? Like fucking, what's up with Terminal? Uh, man, shit like man. that, dude. Just trucking along, you know. Make money, don't make money. Make money, don't make money. It's the same shit to me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't really give a fuck about it. You know, the less I care about it, the more it seems to find its way to Is it that always happens in life? That, that's one thing I'm I know saying, always happens in life. I'm very much a goes around, comes around kind of dude. You know, you're going to get the energy that I put out there back towards you, and that's it. You know? Just skate, have a good time, and hang out with the homies and shit. Like, I've known both you guys for, like, really over a decade. Yeah. At least, at least over a decade. Shit. Fuck. Uh, yeah, um, you know, known him so long, so many years, met him over at the Chamber Street Park back a while ago, doing front boards down the handrail, and, you know, I just want to say, it's, it's awesome to actually see you getting coverage after all these years. You know, you're getting coverage with really good skateboarders out there, Danny Super, Michael Leone, a bunch of the 157 crew. You know, you're doing a lot of things with Gracias LA, the DTA proxy, uh, you know what I mean? I don't think I have a Quentin hat on. Shout out to my man Robs. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about you know the, the whole Quentin thing. You know, I see you've been wearing a lot of Quentin stuff and and rocking it hard. Just just tell us a little bit about Terminal. You know what you got going on, what you want to have going on. You know everybody out there. You know, you got boards. Fifty three with grip. 50, fifty. Fifty with grip. Fifty with grip. No tax. No tax. You know what I mean? No tax. You got the cheapest no prices. Tax. Right here. If you need anything, check them out. You can also go online oh, at MTV.com and ah, see them on the Washington High Show. You know, check that out. You know, you got a little 15 minutes of fame. Also shows you seconds. Other people, <laughs> you know, that also come to the shop. It just shows you, you know, how deep the shop goes and how deep is his roots. He's been around for a really long time. For anybody who don't know, you know, now you do know. Come check out Terminal Skate Shop. Mad love. You got any more questions for um, Mr. Kang over here? Over here? <laughs> Put you on the spot, son. Well, let, 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 well, let me know, like, um, how was the uh, skating growing up uh, until I have skating now? Like, your opinions and thoughts on it? I mean, it's a lot different now. I mean, um, when, I, when I first started skateboarding, it was just literally for the sheer fun of it. Like, and just, that was it. You know, there was no, like, going pro or, like, trying to come up in the world. It was just about having a good time. And now it's, you know, it's a big money making thing and I'm not I'm not knocking anybody for it like shit you know if I could have gotten paid hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars or whatever the fuck they pay these motherfuckers these days you know the lowest pros to the highest pros whatever it is I'll take it you know what I mean I just you know, you know the yeah, game's changed that. and that's it you know and you know there's so many talented skateboarders out there there's so many kids coming up and like it's, it's fucking awesome to be a part of it, like, really. And, like, you know, I've, I've watched all these kids come here and, like, come through here, come through there, basically everywhere, you know, through skateboarding, because you just get to meet, like, all different types of people from all walks of life. And, you know, for them to see, especially as an older dude, to see them, like, grow and, like, just expand as a person and just their perception of life and skateboarding and everything else, it's like, you know, yeah, some real yeah, shit, yeah, really, yeah, really, yeah, really, yeah, man. Yeah, like, how, you know, how does it? Shit. Definitely. How, how, how does it feel to be one of the um, pioneers in the Bronx to actually get competitions up here? You know what I mean? Like, oh, that wasn't me, dude. That was nothing to do with me. That has really, actually, one of the Mira Coño dudes. Mira Coño. Uh, 